In this video, I'll be talking about how to use Punnett squares to predict offspring probabilities. A question doctors and scientists get a lot is, what is the probability that my child will inherit? And you can fill in the blank with any number of diseases or physical attributes. A Punnett square is a quick way to help you figure out the answer to this kind of question. It helps you visualize and determine the chances of having offspring with specific genotypes based on the parent genotypes. Remember that a genotype is a person's specific combination of alleles for a certain gene. In these examples, let's use the alleles big A as the dominant allele and little a as the recessive allele. So I have a man who has the genotype big A big A and a woman who has the genotype big A little a. Let's build them a Punnett square to predict their possible offspring genotypes. This is a Punnett square. At the head of each column, you'll put each possible allele the mother could give a child in her egg. Remember that in meiosis, a person gives one of their two alleles to the gamete. So we see that this mother could either make an egg that carries the big A allele or an egg that carries the little a allele. At the head of each row, you'll put each possible allele a father could give a child in his sperm. And we see that the father could give either this allele or this allele to his sperm. Now to see what all their possible egg-sperm combinations could be, we just fill in each box with the allele that's at the head of its column and row, like this. This box would have the big A allele from the mother and the big A allele from the father. This box would have the big A allele from the mother and the big A allele from the father as well. This one would have the big A allele from dad and little a from mom. And this one would receive big A from dad and little a from mom as well. Now each of these boxes in the square represents the probability of creating offspring with this genotype. Because there are four boxes, and they all have an equal probability or chance of happening, you have a 1 in 4 chance, or a 25% chance, that these parents will produce this child in a reproductive event. The same goes for each box. Where you see the same genotype, you can add these probabilities together to get the overall probability of having a child with that genotype. So in this case, these parents have two of four boxes with the big A, big A genotype. So they have a one half probability or 50% chance of having a child with a big A, big A genotype. The same logic applies to the big A, little a genotype, which means they have a 50% chance of having a heterozygous child. As you can see in this Punnett square, there's no possible way for this couple to have a child with the little a, little a genotype because this child would need to receive a little a from the father and a little a from the mother. But the father does not have a little a in his genome. He can only give a big A to his children. And that's how you set up a Punnett square. You're now ready to start solving some problems of probability and genetics. If you want to learn more, and learn about how to calculate probabilities using Punnett squares and the rules of addition and multiplication? Watch my Probabilities in Punnett Squares video.